What took you an embarrassing amount of time to figure out? When I was growing up the family would often do road trips to Vancouver, at least once a year. Just outside Williams Lake I would always observe a construction site, where some sort of log house is being built. It was always half finished, after like a decade I was maybe 18, and finally made the comment about them still building that place. Apparently they build custom log homes on site, and disassemble and ship them out. That those ridiculous over the top dresses exhibited at fashion shows, are not intended to ever be worn in real life. They are like concept cars of the fashion world, intended to showcase the designer's creativity and vision. I realized a few years ago, that cows don't just naturally produce milk, they have to be pregnant slash have a calf to produce it, which is embarrassingly late to figure out. That I wasn't, in fact, the family member that best washes the dishes, yes, I'm the youngest. When I was like 5 my dad would constantly make the following joke. He'd put his hand on my head and squeeze lightly a couple times, while saying I'm a brain sucker, what am I doing? After a quick pause he'd follow up with the punchline starving, but he always stretched out the pronunciation for the word, so it sounded to me like star point thing. For years I thought it was a lame joke where the punchline somehow referred to the fact that brain suckers were aliens and came from the stars or something like that. I was sitting in class one day and I must have been 10 to 12 years old before I realized he's calling me dumb. The joke is that I don't have a brain, so the brain sucker is starving. I was at least smart enough to never tell him this because I'd never live it down if he knew it took me 5 years to figure out the joke. When I was younger I had no idea that New York and Newark were two different places. I kept thinking people saying Newark were trying to say New York, but had a speech impediment or accent, or just didn't know how to pronounce it. It's particularly confusing when you're on a train that stops in both Newark and New York and the employee you ask has a heavy foreign accent. Wait are you saying the next stop is Newark or New York? How to use a staple remover, until I was, was in my 40s, I'd just use the staple remover, to bite the long side of a staple and kind of tear it back through the paper, then someone showed me how to properly use a staple remover, by biting the crimped side of the staple to bend the crimp and kind of straighten out the staple again, once kind of straightened, bite the long side of the staple and the staple will back out the same holes it went in without further tearing the paper. When you do something wrong but with enthusiasm, and someone says, a for effort, I didn't understand, that it meant an errors in school report card grades, it never made sense, because in my head, E is for effort, like C is for cookie, I finally had someone explain it to me sometime, after I turned 30. The toilet seat should be down, to make pooping more comfortable, my whole life, I just thought it was for people who were too small to sit on the full rim of the toilet, so that's why I never used it, but hey, at least I poop more comfortably now, when I was a kid, my parents showed me how to take a dicky, classic toddler terminology, but I don't remember ever having a potty trainer, but my goofy A thought they were showing me how to do it as a kid, so my brain at the time just said you better keep that seat down or else you'll fall in. So when I became old enough, I just stopped using it, because I thought I didn't need it. I could just distribute my balance by manspreading, and I wouldn't fall in anymore. Because I really can't see how you could, unless your frame is just that small. It never really killed my legs and yeah there was some straining, but I just thought I had a bad diet or something. And of course when you're grown, it's not really a common thing to have people watch you do your business and vice versa. As far as public toilets are concerned, I just wiped them off before usage, because it wasn't one from home. Fast forward to 2 months ago, 25 now, I go to visit my parents and my mom tells me she got a new toilet, and was showing it to me. It looked comfy, so I lifted both the lid and the toilet seat to sit down, and see how it felt like, if I was doing my business, with my pants on of course. When I do that, my mom was thoroughly confused and asked if I always did that. I told her my reasoning in the previous paragraph. After she explained to me, she showed me everything. The rest has been history. I'm not ashamed of it, because the thought of it just makes me laugh. There's a Garfield comic from 1983 where Garfield says that he hates designer sweaters. Then he lifts an arm and says, the lizard chewed a hole in the armpit. It took me until about 2017 to realize 
that he is referring to the Lacoste crocodile. I have spent basically my entire life referring to every hole that forms in a piece of clothing as being caused by the lizard, but without actually getting the joke. I thought it was just the surreal, absurdist humor that Garfield is known for. I didn't realize until my late teens slash early 20s that chemical castration means taking pills which render you infertile, not necessarily dipping someone's balls in a vat of acid. Yay this one is pretty embarrassing. So when I was a kid, I saw this rerun of a prank that the BBC pulled off in the late 50s. It was basically a hoax broadcast they did for April Fool's Day, in which it showed old footage of people picking, or harvesting, spaghetti out of trees. Seriously, for some reason it just never clicked. I spent most of my childhood and my teen years believing it, and I had just never happened upon the subject. I was 19 years old, when I found out that spaghetti doesn't grow on trees. I was having a great time at a water park slash outdoor pool, when a woman approached me in the afternoon, and whispered in my ear, that I had an issue with my swimwear. When I reached behind me, I found a large chasm. My white, untanned crack was visible through the fabric, which had been torn straight down the middle. No one said anything to me, while I was rushing around like this all day. Took me 23 years on this earth to figure out that several was not in fact a way to describe seven of something. Every time I heard it slash read it, I thought people were always just being oddly specific about the number of something. Got into an argument with my grandfather about it and didn't believe it meant more than a few until I looked it up. How ring binders work. I thought you had to take out all the pages to add a new page to the back of the binder. Which annoyed me in school, because it could take a while having to realign all the pages, to fit the holes in the binder. I was about 22, when I worked in a bookstore and my coworker saw me take all the pages out, after which she showed me how it actually works. I will never forget the look of disbelief on her face. Took time to figure out how to relight the pilot lights on my grandmother's gas stove. After grandfather died, I had to relight the gas pilot lights for her, whenever they went out, no one showed me how I had to figure it out on my own, meanwhile, we had to open the windows, because the smell of natural gas was pervasive. I've got an awesome one for this, I was 26 years old, when I realized, that my mother's name is Betty and her sister, who is a fraternal twin of hers, also something that I didn't know, is named Wilma, Wilma and Betty from the Flintstones. Also, I have two sisters, Serena and Samantha, from Bewitched. That the fuel icon on your dashboard has an arrow that tells you which side of your car to fill your gas from. Useful for cars you don't normally drive. I was like 17 before I realized I didn't have to get in the shower and then turn on the water and get blasted with cold water. I can turn it on before I get in and just wait a second. It was an embarrassingly long time before I stopped unlocking the front doors after my mom locked up when going to bed. I thought she was trying to lock my dad out of the house. That most cars genuinely can last a very long time. As long as you do your regular maintenance on time and don't treat it like a race car they can last for some time. Unless it's a PT Cruiser. That shbox just sucks. That every show's first episode is called the pilot episode. And it's not just a crazy coincidence for every show I watched. Literally a month ago, I'm in my 30s. When one cries crocodile tears, it means they are faking being sad. Crocodiles do cry, but the purpose is lubricating their eyes. I thought that it meant someone was really sad and crying really big slash a lot of tears. My logic was that if a crocodile cried, those would be some big tears. Crying crocodile tears must mean someone is very sad. I was probably 20 or so when I realized that cold water in a home is not free. I grew up thinking somehow that you only had to pay for hot water. That I had two holes down there. I thought you peed and gave birth out of the same hole. I was very confused until a girlfriend explained it to me. I was 17. How embarrassing. I don't have to keep agreeing with my friends just to keep them happy.